Hey guys, um, I wanted to talk about a subject today that I know a lot of people um, have been wondering about and I know a lot of other um, people can relate to it, not just um, transgender people, teenagers to be specific, um, but just like a lot of people who kind of are different um, and like kind of get bullied a lot. I get bullied very often. Um, I started my senior year this year, class of 2013, um, and I started it as a transgender woman, so like I wear <laughs> boobies and stuff, um, and I go by female pronouns and stuff like that, and I actually thought it would be a kind of a breeze, like, oh, I mean, I was like, I wore makeup last year, like, no one's gonna care. Um, but little did I know that the school was not going to be okay with it and everyone was going to run their mouth. But, you know, when, when living in an area like I do, which is the southern United States, very southern United States, um, you often deal with like intolerance and discrimination and stuff because just a lot of people just really aren't for it. And so I deal with a lot of stuff every day. Uh, let's see, like, I've only been doing my senior year for like three weeks and I already got, wrote up one time for using the girls' bathroom. Um, I got, I've been in and out of the principal's office for numerous reasons and they're all for very, um, very intolerant reasons. For example, um, for example, I wore these shoes, which really aren't even that dramatic, there are um, wedges, they're not even that high as you can tell. I wore these shoes and um, this, this lady who I write everyone up for every dress code reason, she, she was like looking at me and then she didn't say anything so I was like, oh okay, so I'm okay. Then I'm sitting in first period and I get called to the office. And I was just like, oh here we go, this shady bitch. And so I get called to the office and um, I'm sitting in the principal's office and he basically tells me, no, those shoes aren't acceptable. And I was like, why are they not acceptable? He's like, I'm not going to discuss that at this time. And I was like, is it because I'm a boy? And he was like, yes. And I was like, well, thank you for your information because that's all I needed. Because right there, that line that you just said was very, very, very ignorant and very discriminatory. So, thanks for the information. I can now use the inch to you. Um, <clears throat> and it's just things like that that a lot of kids go through. I mean, a lot of kids that get bullied, they don't even have to go to the office or whatever. They deal with um, bullying from other students, which is what I'm about to talk about here in a few seconds. Um, but yeah, it's just really hard to kind of do your own thing in school when not even the school has your back. I mean, there's there's like faculty and staff members that have my back. They're all like, oh yeah, we love you, blah, 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 you're brave. But like, even if you are a teacher, it's, it doesn't matter. If you're not a principal or a superintendent, your word doesn't mean anything. And that's just kind of life. It's pecking order. Um, but yeah, I do get bullied by students. <laughs> um, no one actually says anything to me because the funny thing about this school is, and I don't know if that's every school, I don't even know if it's just teenagers in general, but people at my school are all puck, which gets old fast because everyone talks about everyone at that school. It's like, you need to get a hobby, bitch. That's what you need to do. You need to go get yourself a hobby, stop running your mouth, first of all, go brush your teeth, then stop running your mouth and go get yourself a hobby. Because I will legitimately get to school every morning and I guess I look like a girl and it freaks people out because they don't know. And so, you know, I'll be in line or whatever and then I'll hear somebody whisper like, no, that's, that's a boy. Oh my God, that's a boy, yo. And then they like turn around, they're like, oh shit, oh my God, that's a boy. Oh, it's the apocalypse, oh my God, I'm an idiot and I'm ugly. Like, and I'm just like standing there and I'm like, do they realize that I can hear them? And it's so hard because I always just want to bite my lip. Like, I mean, I always want to say something, but I'm not going to get thrown out of school 
for a stupid person. Like, that's, like, stupid. Like, it's my senior year. I'm not going to fight anybody, and I'm not going to get, like, expelled, you know, or anything for an idiot. But I'm just saying, one point of mine is if you do bully people, and if you're watching this video and you just love to bully people and talk shit about everyone, you should realize that the real world, someone's going to pop off on you one day and you're going to get your ass handed to you. So I would stop talking shit as soon as possible about people because it's not tolerated really anywhere except high school. So you might want to grow out of that phase. But it's just stupid. But, um, you know, I do get talked about and stuff. Like, I'll walk by people and people, like, stare at me and they'll be like, that's definitely that one tranny. Oh, that's that boy. And it's just like, get over yourself. You know, um, I mean, I look good. And, you know, it doesn't even matter to me. You know, if I had low confidence or self-esteem, I'd be like, oh, hey, I'm ugly. But for me, it's like, <laughs> I'm not ugly. Like, I know what I'm doing. You, on the other hand, I could give you some makeup advice, and then you could go talk about people. Um, that's another thing. Um, self-esteem. <sighs> I do not know how much to emphasize this. But self-esteem is a very vital and important piece of personality trait that you want to obtain, especially if you're going into high school or if you are already in being bullied or whatever. It's just a very um, uh, important thing to hold on to because you're going to get talked about at least one time. Even if you're, like, the most popular person or, like, everyone likes you or, like, there's nothing, like, weird about you someone's still going to talk shit about you. And you're probably going to hear about it now or later. And so it can be a real blow to your self-esteem when you find out someone was talking about you. And the thing that I think a lot of people need to realize about being bullied is 90% of the time everything they're saying is not true. They're just saying it because either one, they're ignorant, or two, they're just going along with their friends, or three, they just hate themselves like they're like wow I'm so ugly let me try to talk about someone else so everyone stops looking at my ugly acne and at someone else's but like it's just like ugh, I don't even gotta take some water um but I don't know I don't really I just but yeah I just really wanted to answer questions because I know a lot of people have questions about me how I live because I get compliments like every day like you know oh you're so brave oh and that's another thing um people who compliment you and stuff don't take them for granted because I mean if somebody calls you beautiful you're probably like yeah whatever no 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 shut up and thank them because I know that I don't I don't know if it's just me personally but I know that if I think someone's pretty, I'm going to tell them they're pretty. I'm not going to waste my breath and say, oh, you're pretty, when I don't think you are. So usually if someone's calling you pretty or whatever, they're pretty much being honest about it. So don't take it for granted. Use it as, like, confidence. So when someone goes, oh, you're ugly, be like, yeah, you and what army? Like, I've already been called pretty by lots of people, so you're just one person. You don't matter. You're a blip on my radar. Bam. You know? Um, so just, you know, my advice is to... Just get confidence, you know, I mean, I can't just say get confidence, because it took me a very long time to get my confidence. Um, I mean, uh, my advice is idolizing people that get bullied or that are just looked down upon. Like, for example, probably going to get, like, laughed at for this or whatever, Lady Gaga is one of my biggest influences because she just does her thing. Regardless if you think that she does it for, like, attention or whatever, that's just regardless, because she still does it. And she still puts herself out there to get talked about. And a lot of people are like, oh, she's weird. Oh, my God. You know? But she still does her thing, and she's still successful, and she still has people that love her, just like me. And, you know, a lot of people just need to kind of follow someone who is kind of in the same thing you are doing, you know, kind of having the same problem you are. Lady Gaga. Jeffree Star gets bullied. Like, everyone talks about him, but he's still the most fabulous person I've ever met in my life, and he still continues to do his thing, you know? Um, Katy Perry, you know? It just, 
lots of people, you know, you're not alone out there. You're definitely not alone. This isn't an it gets better video. I mean, it does get better. But, you know, I'm just trying to tell you from my point of view that if I can do it and I'm still here and I'm still happy and stuff, you can do it too. And just hang in there and just remember you're beautiful and the people that don't like you are ugly. <laughs> Bye.